Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm back for another <laughs> wire wrap with me type thing. <clears throat> because I'm I'm very beginner at this, guys. I don't. I'm learning along with you, or you're learning along with me. Is is really what it is. So I have this jig in front of me, and I'm just moving this stuff off the. This is called a jig, and I just attempted to make a heart out of. This is aluminum. This is a 14 gauge aluminum, I'm pretty sure. Super soft wire. <coughs> and it just got so messed up, I couldn't do it. So I ended up making it into this kind of abstract shape and hammered it and whatever. At least I didn't waste the wire because I could not do it by hand. So I decided to get the jig out and do it with the jig. So I did these... Um, this is a little bit, this is probably 16 gauge or 18 gauge copper, and I was able to do that by hand, but this is so soft, I'm not able to do it, so I wanted to use the jig. So I just set it up, and it comes with these little rubber stoppers on the back and all these little pegs, and I just set it up how I think I want to make this heart. I'm going to make a heart. I do, I, this is about 19 inches, it turned out. I just went and cut it and it's about 19 inches and I'm hoping it makes it all the way I really don't know so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here and I'm just gonna the, the key with this jig is too is to be gentle and that is not my MO I like to force solutions and impose my will this is all a uh, recovery talk Al-Anon but it is true. All right, so all I did was take my round nose pliers and found the center, and I'm just gonna grab it a little harder to get that a little more pointier and put it here, and I'm gonna crisscross. And wrap it around this side, between here, and then actually, I want to stay behind here and I'm just going to coil this around there. I'm going to do the same thing over here, but did you see I did not force anything. I am literally just letting the wire do, oh, see that's how not forceful I'm being. And I'm just going to end it right here. That is a strange looking heart. So it didn't turn out how I had pictured it, um, but see, once I bend the wire, it's kind of going to be stuck like that. So <coughs> this is this is it for me. It's trial and error. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to try and just pull this down a little. And I'm going to hammer it so that it stays in shape. So let's just take it off the jig. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Okay. I'm not thrilled about it. Okay, I put these two here because this is where I was thinking I was going to join them. I was going to use a wire wrap there. I'm just going to use my fingers and try to round this out a little more still want to keep <clears throat> excuse me I didn't want to lose this so I'm just gonna take it and really pronounce that where it's gonna be wrapped together And then once I hammer it, ugh, but see the bumps? It's so hard to work with this really soft wire. All right, so hold on. I don't hate it. I'm all right with it. These, I kind of want to make into a little bit more... I'll just cut them off if they don't go according to my hope. I, it, it's not. It's not going according to hope at all, but I'll, 
I'll fudge with it. I'm going to fudge it a little. This is where it's going to be connected. And then these are just supposed to be, there's definitely, I definitely need to do more work um, on swirls, on these swirls, because I know that you can, there's very easy ways to do it, and I am not doing it the way it's supposed to be done. I'm, I'm really mucking this up. And you can use a, a cone shape thing to like wrap it around and then it'll go much better for you. But this is what I'm thinking. I, I'm going to hammer it. I, I am not thrilled <laughs> like this part and I don't want to muck with it too much because, oh good, okay, I unwrapped it. Okay, like I'm trying to make it open and open. All right, I mean, I opened it a little. And then this I could probably open a little too. Oh gosh. I just want to hammer it before I mess it up too much. So I'm going to show you that process. I want to just put another little bend right here. Oh, look how I squished that. Because <gasps> it's so soft. I thought I was going to put an angle in it and I jacked it up. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Guys, I don't know what I'm doing to this poor wire. I just need to stop. So this is my little hammering thing. I got this at Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to use the my little cheap hammer. I gotta stop fudging. Um, this is just six dollars worth of a hammer and it's already kind of wonky but it's been working and I'm just gonna hammer it definitely makes lines um, like you see where I'm hitting it Dense, you know what I mean? I just know that you don't want to hit it right on the where it crisscrosses that much because it can you'll break the wire. boy now what that does is it toughens the wire like it is much it's still springy but I'm gonna connect this and I think I have a pretty good um, heart shape the other side of the hammer gives it texture so I'm just gonna do that a little bit too while I have you here and see if it does it um, you can get it to get back into I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with this um, shape. Okay, so this little side, it gives it like diamond cutting almost. Ugh. I'm such an amateur. But this is how I learn, you guys, to do this with you is, is how I learn, and I'm hopefully telling you something we can learn by our mistakes this way you know so I'm just gonna attempt to do this little coil with some diamond cutting that's the idea of this little um, end of the hammer I think 
it's working but I'm also really changing the shape uh, along the way so it is there is definite a learning curve to this I have to finish doing this all the way around it now because I did it to one side I'm sure that sounds so good on video, all this banging. But maybe you can get an idea of how hard I'm hitting it. It's not very hard. I'm kind of tapping. And it definitely distorts the shape. probably should have just started with this side of the hammer and like instead of do, doing it twice but I kind of look can you tell the effect look at that diamond cutting all right let me come back up and then what I'm planning on doing is connecting these together right here with this little thin copper wire and I could actually use so I have this in my stash. I got this and this. 22 and 26. This is really thin. I'm going to use this 22. I'm going to cut off about 6 inches maybe. It's about 8 inches actually. Because I just don't know yet. I haven't been able to eyeball things. And what I want to do is just hold this. Oh, and the other thing is you, you can file if things are going to be sharp. Nothing's sharp right now. All right, so I'm going to hold the, this where I want it. Put my wire with a little end sticking up. <coughs> oh, this is definitely harder to maneuver. Oh, yeah. This is, okay, wait. It'll be fine. Because <laughs> I could definitely use the thinner wire to get it to cooperate. Because you do have to use a little firmness. You know, you have to pull. Okay, now I'm good. And you want it to be but right up against the other row as you go. I don't want my two sides of my heart to overlap. I want them side by side, so like right up against each other. I'm going to use these little flat nose pliers to kind of pull this together. And I'm just going to continue. I think that's good. Make sure that it's snug. Not overlapping each other. And then this, the where I started with that little thing pointing, the little piece of wire, I'm just going to pull that to the back. Oopsie. And then I'll snip it. Just make sure these are back side by side. I think I kind of got, uh, it went on top of each other. No, they're side by side. And then I'm going to make sure this one's side by side, I mean in the back too. And then I'll snip both of those off with the flush cutters. So they're like right in the middle. I'll get that because I could definitely use it for something. And then you take those flat nose pliers and so flatten it. I need work guys because look I'll come in and show you. Let me pick that up. But I want to show you what uh, I can't find it right now. Look at look at I want to show you see this little part over here it's like sticking out I think it went on top of so I'm gonna try and maneuver it yep so that was just the little piece I can move it and get it below flatten it And then 
squish it back this way oops and back that way it might be a little long the, I can see the end of it right there so I'm going to cut it off a little shorter and then just flatten it but this wire the one that I hammered is uh, still super soft so every little pinch I make and every little okay but look okay you can't see it but I'll come back up I did it I made a heart I'm so excited it's pretty stiff too it's not really moving around that's what the the hammering is supposed to do and it's called something um, I don't know the language yet now the key to this will be when I start to wrap it now I did this little heart this morning where's my other one because I had another one um, these are with a different type of wire I want to say copper not quite as soft aluminum I think is the softest I think aluminum is really soft but see how these aren't even it does bother me a little bit and it will get me to like want to pull it and twist it and I, I think I should just let it be what it is for now except for I don't want to Ugh. and then the more I keep fudging with it it doesn't make it any better Ugh. <laughs> anyway that's what I want to figure out I got to figure that out and I gotta be happy with it the way it is for now so that's it you guys I just wanted to share that with you alright love you have a great day